So what's up, everybody? Listen up very closely, because if you wish me a happy birthday yesterday, April 28th, 2020, then your name is probably going to be in this video, because I'm going to do my best to say thank you to every last person that gave me a birthday shout out. You all know how it is on Facebook and other platforms like that. You get so many, you can't reply to everybody. And I'm the person that replies to all comments always. So I figured like, okay, here's the way that I'll do it. Make sure I cover everybody. So if you wish me a happy birthday, your name is probably gonna be in this video. Here we go. Natalie Crawford says, happy birthday, my dear. Enjoy your special day. Thank you so much, Natalie. I appreciate you. Tara Chapman, I just see your message as well. I appreciate you. Vivian, thank you so much, Vivian Smallwood. Um, I really want you to check out, and this is for everybody as well, I want you to check out the 5M concept that I have every Sunday, 3 to 5 p.m. on Zoom. My number on Zoom is 551-164-8133. So join me for 5M, music, movement, meditation, mindfulness, and mantra a two-hour communal concept that encompasses sharing and dialogue, soul music like you hear in the background, and I share from my self-care journey things that I've learned and that kind of thing. So thank you, Vivian, and I think you would enjoy that. Don, I love you. Thank you so much. Don Copeland, thank you for my birthday wishes. Willie Fields, appreciate you, brother. We got to definitely connect soon. Kevin Bibbins, long time, man. Thanks for the love, bro. Telania Smith, how's the music going? How you tickling the keys? Bate, thanks for hanging out and thanks for the birthday love. Telania, I appreciate you. Karan Jones, thank you so much. How's the music going? Tony Rildon Snowland, miss you. Thank you for the love. My brother, Willie Ward, thanks, man. Doc Milton Mishana, I appreciate you, bro. He said, fruition music in the background, right? Got it happening here, too. I appreciate you, man. We got to definitely um, schedule that next date, man, to connect. I want to, for everybody here, look out for my, um, I might either do a Zoom meeting or IG Live with Doc Mishana. I want to introduce you to a great artist and somebody who I want to help on this journey. Leslie Rice says, happy birthday, Angel. Thanks for the good vibes and humble energy so needed during these uneasy times. Thank you, Leslie. And thank you for hanging out with me always and for your constant support. It's a card. Thank you, Ashra. It was very nice to meet you the other day and finding out that you had a connection to the word salud. Stephen Carter, thanks for hanging out, bro, and thanks for the birthday wishes. Ashra, you become a new good Facebook friend. Thanks for hanging out with me. Jan, I love you as always. Jan, I wish I could, um, on one of the Zoom chats, I wish you could come in on one of them. I would love to see your beautiful face. Joy Ligon, thank you so much. D says happy birthday. D, I really appreciate you. Robin, thank you so much for the happy birthday wishes. I really appreciate you. D, I had a really good time doing the birthday serenade for you the other night for you in April. If y'all haven't heard that, go look on my timeline. It says happy birthday April from D, and it's a tribute that I think you would love. Berman, thanks for hanging out, bro. And yes to your answer from the other day, Berman. Um, yes, you can not only look at my channel and Aaron Hill TV and everything that I'm doing for music, but now your up-to-date latest news as well, like how Sprint will be no more in a few, and T-Mobile will be the carrier. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, just look up that video either on my timeline or my YouTube page, Aaron Hill TV. Just type in or look up Sprint Merge with T-Mobile. Watch the video and weigh in on the it. Word of the day. Word of the day. <laughs> and this is actually from... <laughs> that was from the word of the day from the other day. So um, so with this, um, next I want to go to Janice Berkeley. Thank you so much. My cousin Raven Gilliam, thank you. I appreciate you, fam. Matt, Matt Rappaport, man. We had a good laugh the other day, man. Thanks for the, the wishes. Javal Richardson, man, long time, bro. Can you believe we've been out of school longer than we've been in school, bro? Woo, thanks for the birthday wishes. My brother, Corey Baker. Y'all gotta check out Corey Baker if you've never heard this guy play bass, if you never heard him on vocal, if you never heard his production, you gotta check him out. Um, James Williamson, appreciate you. Camille, thank you, much love. Miss Edith, I appreciate you and always for the love. Akil Raphael, so Akil 
you all is uh, my good homie who actually was on my um, recordings. He's playing Steel Pound. Call him Akil the Steel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up Mansions, Aaron Hill, and Truth Meditation, Aaron Hill. Either on my uh, YouTube channel, Aaron Hill TV, or on my website, AaronHillTV.com. Look that up for the, the homie Akil Raphael. I'm telling you, he's going to really touch your ears with that steel drum. Mike McCoy, how's it going? And how's the music going? Clifton Queen, man. Long time since you've been in school, bro. Good to see you. My cousin Juan Blaze, how are you? Much love to you. Jen Harper, Wilbur Nichols, how's the music going, bro? Brandon Colfield, how's the music going? Eunice, I appreciate you. Love you. Thank you so much. David Tisdale, appreciate you, fam. Eric, Erica Lay, I'm sorry. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Ebony Graves, long time since we've been in school. Alumni, thanks for hanging out. David Wright, appreciate you, fam. How's the music? Jacqueline Hayes. <laughs> Jacqueline Hayes sent me these, um, I forgot what you call those little things. Uh, those little, uh, these little things. She sent me those for my birthday. I forgot what, what uh, movie those things were from, but thank you so much, Jacqueline. <laughs> Eunice, thanks for hanging out. Hassan says, not happy birthday, but happy boy day. <laughs> That's how we used to talk back in the day. My good brother from way back, brother from another mother. He's one of the first people I started off music with. Special, very dear to me. Raven Gill, my niece, thank you. And Raven, if you're watching this, you actually have a cousin that has pretty much the same name that you have. Pete Dilworth, man. It's nice to meet you, bro. And happy, I thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Miss Doris, who is my homie, Hassan's mom. Thank you, Miss Doris. Second mom to me as well. Natalie Crawford, I always appreciate the love. Thank you so much. Cher J. Casey, I miss you. How you been? Thank you for stopping by. And uh, we're alumni as well. Graduated high school together. Isaac Parham, I appreciate you, bro. How's the music going, man? Alice Delaney. Alice, didn't you say you had um, a book or something like that that you were releasing? I'm having a Jim's um, Zoom meeting soon. It's going to be probably in the next seven days, seven to 14 days. And it's going to be a meeting. So Jim's for everybody listening is my concept, giving everyone my science. It's me teaching everybody everything that I know um, to date about anything dealing with social media or tech or business or just anything. And so I'm going to have a Jim's uh, Zoom meeting where everybody's invited and it's just going to be a ask me anything kind of deal. Um, there was when I was in the Zoom meeting, if you get a chance to check it out, the meet my mom um, Zoom meeting from the other day. Uh, a lot of people were asking about podcasts and like, what is a podcast? Hey, Teresa Bailey, I appreciate your love and support always. Thank you for hanging with me. Um, so they were asking about podcasts and I was like, okay, so I'm going to, you know, I'm going to hit you up. We'll talk about it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in a Zoom session where I can have everybody at one time. And I'm just going to go around and just do lightning rounds of just answering everybody's questions. And I'm super excited about that because it's one of the most fun things for me to help everybody with a whole bunch of different things. Like the more different things, the better. You know, it's like playing different genres of music. So, uh, Miss Alice, please come hang out with me for that. And everybody else here, come hang out with me for that to ask me anything. I want to help you with anything you need to know. If there's anything you see me do, whether it's how many videos I put up or how I use Facebook or whatever, how I've gotten anything, like hit me up and um, hit me up for that Zoom. I mean, come hang out with me on that Zoom. Leonard, thank you. D-Love, thank you. I appreciate you. Thanks for the birthday, love. Gordon Lewis, how's the music, bro? Thank you for hanging out. Warren Morris, appreciate you, bro. How's the music? My cousin, Larry Powers, appreciate you, man. Love you. Bonolo, thank you. It's really nice meeting you. Where are you from? Um, I meant to ask you that before. I know you're from overseas. Um, Marshall Comer, thanks, bro, for the birthday love, and thanks for hanging out. Leonard, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for the love. Marshall, thanks for hanging out yesterday for my birthday, um, my Zoom party. So if you all didn't see my um, Zoom birthday party, it's on my timeline. Just look up, just look there for Zoom birthday party Aaron Hill. Or you can go to my YouTube channel, Zoom birthday party Aaron Hill. Just look on there. And subscribe to my channel if you can, please. <laughs> and 
hit the notifications button so you'll see when I release these new videos. Um, so yeah, my birthday party was fun last night. I want y'all to see, you know, what we did and, and hang out. Um, so go check out that video. Appreciate it. Eric Holmes, man. Much love to you. Eric, if you're watching this video, man, drop your link here for your book, bro. And we're going to chop it up real soon about your book and everything like that. I'm going to try to schedule something with you in the next 7 to 14, bro. Paulette Lucas, I love you. Dudley McZeal, hey, man. One of my favorite elders. I appreciate you, man. From the West Coast. I forgot. Are you in uh, California? So he says, hello, brother Aaron. And happy birthday. I hope and affirm that you will have much more to celebrate and commemorate. And that your special day will be all you desire it to be. Enjoy, peace, and bless. So he always gives me the greatest messages. Like, like I got to read out some of the other messages he gives me. I appreciate you. Sir, drop a line. Let me know how you're doing. Angela. Uh, Angela Bethia, thank you for hanging out. Kai, Kai Ayatoro says happy birthday. And Kai, it was so great to hang out with you yesterday. Milton Russ. Hey, Milton, you know you got to give me that classic uh, pick, man. So this is another one of my favorite elders, right? Milton Russ, if you look on my page, every time he responds, he responds with the Eddie Kendricks keep on trucking pick. It's one of my favorite things. It's like his signature. And he's been, and he's been dropping it on my timeline for years. And he uses it to respond to anything. That's my good friend. Milton Russ, thank you. Angel Webster, Roxanne Whipple, L.A. La Young. I'm sorry. I don't know why I was going to call you L.A. Young. <laughs> La Young. Thank you for hanging out. La, how's the music going? Um, I definitely, if you can, I want you to jump in on the Zoom, the Gems Zoom that I'm going to be doing. Because I want to answer any questions that you have about how to adjust to this time doing this coronavirus thing and um, as a as a musician and as an artist and this is for everybody how to adjust to this time some things that you should be doing um, to really keep your business going to really continue to keep you building the relationships that you've been building to keep you having gigs like so many of us should be doing zoom uh, gigs and offering our services that way we should be doing more content than ever. Like now's the time for most musicians and artists for all of that backlog of video and, and audio and music that you've had that you've been sitting on. Now it's time to dish it out, get into a different flow because of the fact that you have to replace your entire flow of performing live with now doing it virtually. So I want to give everybody all the answers, like anything that I know. So definitely make it a point to come hang out with me when I put up this Zoom um, the Zoom uh, invitation for my gym's Zoom workshop. I guess that's what I'll probably call it. <laughs> so, Tiffany Trueblood, same with you, sis. I know you got a lot of great stuff happening. Thank you for the birthday, love. And it's always good to see you. Terrence Richburg, my good musician friend, he said, I'm sure you're doing what you do, music. You're right, man. If, if you all didn't get a chance to check it out, please check out my birthday concert from yesterday. Even though it was a live stream yesterday, you can still watch it for the next week um, on the instant tickets link. So go on my page. Just look for the, the flyer. You'll see the black and white flyer. Look at my photos. It says birthday concert. Click the link. Go watch the concert from yesterday. I really, really want to see what you think. And I'm, I'm probably the only person that I know that gives out gifts to other people on his birthday. Like, it's just how I feel. The, the greatest gift that I can give as a giver the greatest gift that I can receive is for the gift that I give to be received. So I poured my heart out yesterday at the Grand Piano, and it was a lot of fun. And so if you get a chance, please check that out. <laughs> Rowan sent me the uh, the good old Snoop Dogg dance. Appreciate you, bruh. Appreciate you, bruh. Snoop looked like he dancing to the music I'm playing in the background. <laughs> I appreciate you, Rowan. Thanks for the birthday love, fam. James Lee, we got to chop it up, bro. I know we keep saying it, man, but I think I might do a Zoom conference, man, where we can get in on the topics we've been talking about and invite other people in, man, trying to do some special things. T. Clark, my good brother from another mother. It's another one of my best childhood friends. Started off music with this guy, like literally. What you hear in the background right now? So I owe a lot of this skill and insight to my man Terrence Clark. Because Terrence, when we were 13 years old and got off of punishment <laughs> together at the end of the school year for randomly different things. Y'all, I got to tell y'all something real crazy. What's up, Eric? 
I'm going to tell you all a whole story one day. I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to give you the brief so that way you can look out for my podcast and my live stream video where I talk about this. So how about I got in trouble for something related to counterfeit money when I was young? Like real talk. Now, here's the thing. It wasn't my fault. I wasn't producing counterfeit money or anything like that. Um, I was young and my, uh, hey, Chip, long time, man. How are you? I was young and some counterfeit money had actually come through my stepfather's business. And so uh, he didn't know about it. And so I I wound up having, uh, he wound up giving me some money and I wound up spending it, but didn't know that it was fake. And then even when I, no, I'm sorry. I, I realized that it was fake, but I didn't know the ramifications and I didn't spend it. Let me backtrack. I didn't spend it. A buddy of mine tried to spend it. Um, I let him hold it and didn't think anything of it. Oh my gosh. So I got to tell y'all that whole damn story because that shit was crazy. And fortunately, I mean, nothing terrible happened to me or to my family because they found out that like it wasn't linked to us. I mean, I get that. I, I did get probably one of the most memorable ass whoop, you know, ass whoopings that I've. <laughs> but I want to tell y'all that whole story because that was that was wild. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Don Henderson, thanks for hanging out. Mark Copeland, thanks for hanging out, bro. How you doing today? Don Henderson, thank you for the love. Travis Bell, Tanya Parker. Nicole B. Peach. Nicole, if you can, drop some of your music on my timeline or to this video for other people to hear. It's nice to meet you from the UK, right? Sherry Thompson, thanks for hanging out. And thanks thanks for hanging out with me and my mom the other day, Sherry. For everybody that didn't meet my mom, just look for the Meet My Mom video. Please, I want you to meet my mother. She's hilarious. Mark says, happy birthday. Have a great day. I appreciate you, fam. Thank you. Meta... My sister from another mister. And that's how I'm starting to say it now. <laughs> you know, I say brother from another mother. For sisters, I'm saying my sister from another mister. Lisa loves cinnamon. You do. <laughs> I love cinnamon toast crunch. Thanks for <laughs> Thanks for the birthday love. Natalie Crawford, Michelle Watkins, miss you. La Wells. Kenneth Morris. So Kenneth says the concert was awesome. So Kenneth, thank you so much, man. Let me know. Uh, what your favorite part was or what have you. Thanks so much for hanging out for the concert, man. Kathy English Holt, Lenny McLean. I will continue to do that, fam. Thank you. Cameron Collins, Leslie Hendricks, Warren Morris, Leslie Rice, Louise Donald, Carl on flute, bro. How you adjusting to these times, man? Drop me a line. Let me know how you adjusting to these times. Karen Brown says, happy birthday, my dear. Sorry, I missed the party. So, Karen, you didn't miss it. And this is for everybody. Everybody that thinks they missed the party, you didn't miss the party. It's right on my timeline. All you have to do is look for the flyer. Make it on do. Hey, Jay Marks is in the building. Hey, my sister from another mister. So, I just explained that that's how I'm, you know, talking to people about people that's close to me that's women. <laughs> so, thanks for hanging out. And thanks for the love. So look, Jay, you didn't see my mom's thing the other when I tell you we were cracking. Jay, you gotta go watch the video. For everybody, go watch the Meet My Mom video. The Meet My Mom Zoom conference on my timeline and on YouTube. If you don't find it, just drop a line back here. Like I don't see it. But you gotta see it. My mother had us in there. <sighs> my mother had us rolling. My mother is hilarious. She's beautiful, she's creative, she's hilarious. I got a chance to show some of her art and have a bunch of laughs, and we were cracking up about the stuff that she sent me. My mom is out of control. <laughs> Jay says, I missed the concert yesterday. It was always my wife's birthday as well. Right. Tell her I say happy, happy, happy birthday. And you didn't miss the concert. Nobody missed the concert because, again, for everybody, you can watch the concert. It's still my timeline, and the instant ticket seats are there for the next seven days. So go check it out. You didn't miss the concert. You didn't miss my birthday party because that's up. You can go actually check it out. And then you didn't miss the Meet My Mom. Tara, thank you for the love. I appreciate you, and thanks for the constant support always. So, Karen Brown, you didn't miss it. Please go back and watch it. Let me know what you think. Cindy Pridgen, thank you. Yes, I really did have a good time. Eli, appreciate it. And Eli says, I don't know how the hell I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. It's all good. Trust me. 
I'm on this camera almost every day of the year and most people still are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. And yes, I did that as a guilt trip. <laughs> but it's all good though, because I know I'm not the only thing, the only person that's on social media. So it's all good. That's why I'm always talking about it. Aaron Hill TV on Y-O-U-T-U-P-E. <laughs> Go hang out with me. Uh, I always put up some fun stuff. Daniel Spencer, I appreciate you, man. How's everything going? Bobby Kraft, Yvonne Wynn gave me a sweet birthday cake, and I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you. Even though that, I have to say, that cake is giving me cavities from a distance, but thank you. Eunice says, the wind beneath my wings. Oh, my God. You poured your heart out yesterday. Thank you so much, Eunice. And I really, like, I, you know, one of those things is, it, what's happening is that like when beneath my wings is one of those songs that's becoming like my favorite song to play at the end of my experiences and so now what's happening is that like it's like all roads are leading to that so i'm really looking forward to it now every time i sit down and play because i know i'm gonna tell a new story through it and it always touches people i mean there was only two other people that was in the vicinity just the engineer and the person that was the host, you know, and helping with this, the engineering and, this, and the uh, cameras and that kind of thing. And like, I mean, I could just see, even just from playing that song during that time, like they were fixated. I could, I could feel them locked in, you know? And I was like, wow, even with nobody here, like this song is still just coming out of me in a particular way. So yeah, it's, I, I really love that song. Shout out to Bette Midler. Bette Midler for one of the greatest inspirational songs ever. So Yvonne, thank you. <laughs> Rosetta Anderson, Miss Anderson, thank you so much. Miss Miss Anderson says, happy birthday to you and many more. And I can hear you singing it through that post <laughs> with the way that you typed it with all of those O's and R's and E's. Chad said, Chad, man, we got to meet one day, bro. I can't wait to meet you. And thanks. You like, you're my jazz friend, bro. You understand the jazz, man, and what's happening. Chad says, Aaron, man, this is great. He's talking about the concert. Thanks so much, bro. Harry Matthews, appreciate the love. My sister Jay, who's on here with me right now. Karen Lynette, thank you. Karen, how are you adjusting to these times as an artist? Let me know because I got some information for you and everybody else. I think everybody should start a podcast, like today. Danetta, it was so good to see you yesterday or day before. And thank you for all the love. It's always like, <sighs> Danetta, you're one of my favorite friends. Doc, Yvonne Waters, I appreciate you. Thanks for the love. Harry, Stephanie Batten, Gary Wilson, how you doing, fam? Oh, snap. <clears throat> <laughs> Eunice, you are crazy. <laughs> you are crazy. So I got to show y'all what Eunice put on my timeline. Gary Wilson, Charlene Riley, I miss you so much. How them grandbabies doing in, in Florida? I know they are missing you. Okay, so this is hilarious. <laughs> Eunice says happy birthday. And this is what Eunice gives me. Oh my gosh. That could not be more. That could not be funnier. That can that, that is that's my favorite one right there. That's my favorite gift. That's crazy. The dude is blowing out candles on his toilet paper with a mask and gloves on. I tell you. Only thing I'm mad about is that I wasn't the first one to think of that. You know how you come across stuff like that where you're like, God damn, why wasn't I the first to think about that? That was a brilliant idea. <laughs> Keith Matthews, how's it going, fam? How's that beautiful voice of yours, man? How's the music? Amber, I love you. Amber Havernick, thank you so much. Claire Dorsey. <laughs> okay, so Claire gave me another good one, too. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. This is the greatest gift that we can get today, huh? Tasha Fitzgerald, thank you. Tasha, also give me a holla. Please join my Gems Zoom um, live stream that I'm going to do because I believe I have some ideas for you as a promoter and as an event holder during this time. Claudette, thank you for hanging out. Same with you, Claudette. We gotta connect. <laughs> Sherry gave me a great one. <laughs> NJ Richardson. So, so, let's see, Jenna. Hey, NJ, look, 
hey man i know what you told me about your son being shy bruh I'm gonna see if I can post a, a, a photo here. See if you, or if you can, bro, can you please post a photo here of your kid? Bro, I know your kid is shy, but man, I'm telling you, there's a way around that to document his journey. So <laughs> what I feel is that, and for everybody here listening, I feel my, my homie NJ Richardson, back from high school, has the cutest kid in the world. Like, I, I literally believe that his kids claim to fame especially right now in his life is literally that he has the gift of being cute now i know that might sound crazy but the thing is you know in even what i'm sharing in my gym is my giving everyone my science i see uh when it comes to this social media thing when it comes to like personal brand and us being able to like let our light shine i see the, the individuality and i see like everybody's uniqueness and how they can capitalize on that or you know make it do what it do so in the case of my good friend nj richardson now everybody's kid is cute this this kid has like that webster cute kind of thing he's cuter than when than when webster was young and cute like he's cuter than than gary coleman i promise you i'm gonna see if he can put a, a pic here if he watches this video bro i'm telling you if you find a way and it doesn't even have to be where his, he has to be in a limelight. Because I know you said he doesn't like the limelight. But it doesn't have to be the limelight. Just the same as when you just take pictures, you know. I'm telling you, if you could, if you could bro, your kid will be famous and viral no time. Literally just for being cute. And and it would, it would lead to everything else that he decides to do in life. Now, I'm not saying you had to do it, of course. That's your kid. But, bro, I'm telling you, like... <laughs> He has the cute factor, man. And like, it's a, he literally has a gift, like real talk, in just being a handsome, just cute, fun-loving kid. And it, I can see his personality too is, is that way. Jenna, I appreciate and love you, thank you. All right, let me show y'all. So this was, this was perfect. Sherry, I appreciate you for that. That kid is getting the end. Oh man, that's the greatest right there. Thank you for the birthday love. <laughs> and that definitely is epic. <laughs> James Moore Bay, salute fam. Or in the words of Aaron Hill, at this point, if you join my 5M fellowship on Sundays 3 to 5, it is salute, salute. My son Jordan is hanging out. Thank you. How you doing today, man? Lakel Nelson. Happy birthday. Enjoy. I appreciate you. Lisa, you took some great pictures. Now I got to show the, the uh, in addition to the pictures you took of me a while back, that were great that I got to show everybody again. You gave me this great uh, cake. I appreciate you. Due to the COVID-19 virus, if your celebration was ruined, you get to party nonstop until your next birthday. That's clever. <laughs> I appreciate that. Rufus, how you doing, bro? Hey, man, hit me up, bro. Stay tuned for my gems joint because I got information and ideas for all of us during this time. R-U-L. <laughs> I'm sorry, I pronounced your name wrong. <laughs> R-U-L gives me... So this is great right here. This is this is another one. Now here's the funny part. And I, and I told this story on my podcast. I actually had a turntable. It's how I got into music. I had not a real turntable. I had the double cassette deck where you could you could speed record. Y'all remember the speed recording when you would you would record from from tape to tape, but you get the speed dub and it's like. So I had a uh, record player on the top of that. And the way I got into music was I used to listen to the radio at night and I would I found some way to like slide the button halfway in between so that you could hear the record player and you could hear the radio. It was weird. I had to like damn near like literally break the radio just to do what I'm about to tell y'all. <laughs> La, thanks for hanging out. Um, <laughs> so I've push the button in between so that you can hear the record player 
and so that you could hear the, the the FM radio station. And I used to take a record. I only had like two or three records. I had like a two or three like Baltimore club records. And I used to DJ along with the DJ on the radio with like one record. It was like something like Blow Your Whistle or something like that. <laughs> and I used to literally do this and practice DJing with the DJ on the radio. La says, happy birthday, my friend. So La, I actually, a few minutes ago, I gave you a birth, I mean, not a birthday shout out. I gave you a shout out for giving me a birthday shout out. And uh, one of the things I was mentioning is that I'm doing a gems, giving everyone my science workshop, a Zoom workshop soon, where it's just free. Everybody can just jump in and ask any questions. I want to help everybody with everything. So one of the things that I'm doing that for, um, in addition to people that are that sell food or people that have stores or people that are sneaker dealers and like people that are artists or book writers like authors, is I'm also doing it for artists and musicians as well because I have a whole slew of ideas that we all should be doing right now to adjust to the climate. A whole slew of ideas. And so I've been given ideas. What is the most astounding fact? But I'm always looking for more ideas. I'm always looking for more opportunities to give ideas. The most astounding fact. So this tune in the background. The most astounding fact is the knowledge. Is a tune I have called Stargazing. That the atoms that comprise life on Earth. The atoms that make up the human body. And this is featuring Neil deGrasse Tyson. They cooked light elements into heavy elements in their core. Stargazing featuring Under Neil, extreme Neil deGrasse Tyson. Pressures. These stars, the high mass ones among them, went unstable in their later years. Paulette, thanks for hanging out. They collapsed and then exploded, scattering their enriched guts across the galaxy. Guts made of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. If you're not familiar with Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's only the coolest astrophysicist on this side of the galaxy. Stars with orbiting planets, and those planets now have the ingredients for life itself. So when I look up at the night sky, so I did a tune a while back. I put this this uh, track together behind his teachings. We are in this universe. I'm about to release this, but perhaps more important in the next five minutes <laughs> after I finish this broadcast. Is in us. So look on my website, AaronHillTV.com. Paulette says, "Happy birthday! I honor you. I, I appreciate up. you, Paulette. I love you. How are you, Paulette? Please do me a big, big favor, Paulette. I need a big, 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 big favor from you. Huge, 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 big, big, big." I need you to contact OGOT, One God, One Thought Center. And this is for everybody as well. Um, I need you to contact them. And I sent out a message, but I haven't gotten a response back. Let them know that two things. Number one, I'm doing a GEMS workshop, a Giving Everyone My Science workshop. And I'm doing it this week. So for all the staff members to listen to it so that you all can know exactly what to do as a spiritual um, organization, a, um, a church, and this is for everybody here. You can you can shoot this to your people to give them the ideas and the advice for what they should be doing during this time while you can't meet, and uh, what they should be doing online, and how they should be creating content, and how they should be creating a Facebook page for all their people, and how they should be doing Zoom conferences. And even in addition to Zoom conferences, because everybody's doing that now and getting the hang of it. But in addition to that, there's a whole lot of other stuff that they should be doing on a regular basis um, as far as interviewing their staff and as far as different things. So for all church organizations, now y'all know I'm trying to help people because <laughs> I don't even go to church like that. But I want to help everybody. So Paulette, please let them know that I'm having a gyms workshop and I'm going to put the flyer up on their page and also I would like to do a private one as well with them but I want them to tune into the public one because the information that I'm going to be giving everybody is going to also be information that pertains to other people but since it's going to be people that's from different fields everybody from artists and musicians to church organizations to poets 
to restaurant owners to comedians like because there's gonna be so many different people there it's gonna the the information is actually gonna be good information for everybody else because it's gonna be things that you wouldn't think about and so the group setting is yeah anyway i'm sorry i'm going in on it but i'm i'm really really wanting everybody in the world to tune in on this <laughs> so yeah look out for that and please send them a message let me let them know that i'm trying to get through to them for this because this is the time i was trying to do this with them when you know prior to now when everything was cool now it's really crucial and the other reason why i'm so passionate and again for everybody that's listening right now now and after the reason why i'm so passionate is because if we don't all individually no matter what we're doing no matter whether we're organization or individual or entrepreneur or artist or musician whatever if we don't actually do the things that i'm saying to do to adjust to this time a lot of us will have no businesses no organizations we will be done coming through this so that's why I'm saying it, and that's why I'm saying it this way. So look out for that information. <laughs> so um, Robert Adams, I'm getting back to the birthday thing now. Here you go. I'm, I'm, I done got real passionate now. Will Vic, thanks for hanging out, bro. How you doing? Robert Adams, Gail G Money, Sherry Hunt, thank you all for the love. PJ Cannon, PJ, it was so good to have you a part of 5M the other day. We had a good time. Everybody else, come hang out with me at 5M, Sunday, 3 to 5, and look at the video that we did from the other day. Maria Broom, love you, appreciate you. Mama Maria, so you should be reading as many stories as possible right now um, on camera. And I know you are doing it because I've seen some of your uh, links. But there's some other things too that I think that I would like to give you some ideas on to do. Sharon Alford, I appreciate you. Marion, it was good to see you the other day. <laughs> good to hang out. I miss you. I wish you came back to the meeting. Ethel, pull them. Dokun, how's it going, bro? How's everything going with that good guitar, man? James Ellis, thanks for hanging out. Leslie Rice, Tanisia, I finally said your name right on camera. I don't know. <laughs> I had to get rid of the Baltimore accent to stop calling you Tanisha. <laughs> my good friend, Tanisia Brown. Happy birthday to you, too, my sister. Yes, we share this special day. She said, I enjoy and I love you. Thank you for your heart. I appreciate you. I love you. Gretchen, I love you. Appreciate you. Thanks a lot, James, for the wishes. Shay Nesbitt, Taja, I miss you. Jan Ellis, Fernando Allen. So, Fernando Allen is one of my favorite music teachers from school. And I'm actually going to do a Zoom conference with him where um, it's a podcast where we just chop it up. I want you all to join me for that as well because that's going to be fun. I get a chance to tell you how there's a few people who I really owe my musical life to. And this is one of those people. This man, when I was in the 10th grade, I had two teachers that made a big difference in my life. One was my rogue 10th grade social studies teacher who came in and in the first two years, I mean, the first two days, I'm sorry, she said, she said to us, she said, in two days, I'm going to teach y'all everything that I'm supposed to teach you as far as the curriculum for social studies, all of Christopher Columbus and all that kind of stuff. She said two days. She said, and then after that, you're going to learn about your real history. And she proceeded for the rest of the school year, 10th grade, 1997, she proceeded for the rest of the school year to teach us about uh, Kemet, Egyptology, chakras, auras, meditation, energy. I was in the 10th grade, and this is what my social studies teacher did. When I tell y'all she started a revolution at the school, after school, the kids used to pile in her class and it was standing room only. And she wasn't selling lollipops or weed. And it was <laughs> and it was standing room only because she was dropping knowledge on us that was changing our lives. So I'm going to tell you all the whole story about that. The story of Miss Dawn Coleman changed a lot of our lives. She And she's a big uh, she's a person who uh, I owe a lot of where I am as far as consciousness and everything. The second person was Brian Akers, Louise Donald. Thanks for hanging out. The second person 
was my music teacher from 7th grade up to 10th grade, Mr. Fernando Allen. If you're in Baltimore, um, he's, I think, the the choir director over at uh, New Psalmist. And he has an album out and everything. Great guy, great music. When I tell you, I'm going to tell a whole story. That's why I want to actually have him on my, my video, my live feed, and chop it up. Because when I tell you, I was in the ninth grade. I was in chorus class. I went through his class. 10th grade, for some reason, when I put together my schedule, I had an open slot where I could just fill it with an extra curricular. So I wanted to get more into music, and they had the keyboards in the choir room, like the keyboard room. So I went to him and I asked him, I said, I want to take your class because I have an open spot, but I don't want to do chorus again. What I want to do is I want to go into the keyboard room while everybody else is here in the chorus room and you're teaching the class. I want to go in the keyboard room. I will be quiet. I will bring my headphones. I won't make any noise. I will not disrupt the class. All I want to do is I want to start practicing because I want to get better at this keyboard thing and making music because that's the direction that I want to go in my life. And that's where I was, the keyboard uh, that they had in the room, I was familiar with because in my rap group, my homeboy who was the producer, that was the keyboard that he used. So I was used to, so I was like, I want to learn that keyboard because I want to get into production. So this teacher told me, he said, yes, I'll let you take this class. And as long as you don't disrupt the class, as long as you don't do anything, you can spend this entire I guess semester, I got to remember if we change class after semester, but if it wasn't a semester, it was the whole year, but I think it was at least a semester. He said you could take this entire semester and you can go in that room every day, just you by yourself, you can close and lock the door and you can do that. And when I tell you, like I'm about to cry talking about it because it really means that much to me. When I tell y'all that him doing that for me was what gave me my whole start. It allowed me to find myself musically. I was I used to bring my tape recorder in there, plug it up to the keyboard, and I would just sit down and I would I would be putting it together these sounds and making these beats and using my creativity. And it teaches me a lot about school and really about how to educate and how like our system, you know, needs to be more so geared towards that kind of learning. So I'm gonna have them on my podcast. So thanks, Fernando Allen, for the birthday love. Brian Edgar says, happy belated birthday. Glad I got to chop it up with you and see, man. So <laughs> so for everybody listening here, there's a video that's going up on my timeline today. And it's me hanging out with my friend, my 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 cousin and comedian, um, comedian friend, uh, Caesar Bell. Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all, it was crazy. We had we had a hilarious time. And I want y'all to meet my cousin. So look out for that video. <laughs> BJ, thanks for hanging out, bro. How you doing, man? Thanks for the birthday love. Hey man, look out for my gems, my gems concept, where I'm gonna be giving information like we talked about before, the conversation you and I had, man, where I helped you with the ideas. I'm doing an actual Zoom, bro, where everybody's gonna come in and I'm gonna do the same thing with a whole group of people, bro. It's gonna be a lot of information, man. So look out for that so you can join me. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Adonica, I so appreciate the love. Thank you. All right, so I'm getting back down to this list, y'all. Fernando Allen, Reggie Wilson, how's everything going in Florida, baby? And anybody else who's in Florida, let me know how things are going down there with you and dealing with these times. Uriah Moore, appreciate the love. How's the music? Marcel Russell, another homie, bro. We gotta chop it up on Zoom. He's my finance homie. And we're going to actually have a Zoom where we chop it up. Y'all, last time I had a meeting with this guy, my, like, when I tell you, like, my whole perspective on insurance and finance was completely flipped. What I'm telling you is that this guy has a lot of information. And so you're going to definitely want to tune in that. Thanks for the love. Tara Chapman, Lanisha Alexander, Paulette, I love you, Stephen Carter. Patrick Henderson, how you doing, bro? We got to catch up, man. Patricia Bush, Karen Brown, Kenise Washington says, I just purchased a ticket for the concert and she didn't get a chance to watch it. Um, I hope you enjoy it, Kenise. And for everybody else, you can still go back and watch the concert. It's a live stream that's up on YouTube. Milton, Miss Rosetta, Tracy, Tyler, Joe Mendez. I thank y'all all for the love, y'all. 
I thank you for the love. Last list. This is my inbox. Anita Muhammad. Thank you. And I look forward to talking to you. You said that you're a singer who's trying to make it and trying to make money off of your singing. And you're 60 years old. And I love that. Because... I'm sorry, I'm getting inbox messages at the same time. Because... My, I love helping people from all walks of life and all ages and all different, you know, activities. So, Kai Rowan, thanks for the love. Richard Duffy, Ben L- Beverly uh, Luster, how's everything going over in Seattle? Because that's where you are. And I really would like an update on how things are going there. Because at least last time I watched the news, I remember that that was one of the places where things were really, you know, really tough. So... Let me know how you're doing out there. Don Roberson, thanks for hanging out. We got to have a vegan chop up, Don. Got to have I got to have you on Zoom, man, so we can do a vegan chop up. You can give you can drop the knowledge, we can talk about it, we can talk about the whole deal. Tanya Franklin, love you, sis. John Dalman. Sterling. I always call you by your whole government name, man. I'm so <laughs> Scotty Charles Ball, Matthew, my other Taurus brother. Love you, man. Charles Wilson, Jr. You have the same name as my drummer, but he's not a junior. Thanks for the love. Alicia Glover, Terrence Gallup, Danny Waters, Robert Quarles. How's the music going, bro? Kathy Johnson, I miss you so much, Miss Kathy. <laughs> Nicole Starrett, thanks for hanging out yesterday, sis. Love you. Jimmy Smith, Hubert Davis, Tony Randall. Tony, phase 10, man. We got to talk. Uh, next phase, I'm sorry. We got to talk, bro, because I know you've been impacted. I have some ideas for you. Tune into my gems joint. My sister, Monet, my good friend, Daryl Williams. Daryl, I forgot, man, about a conversation that we had a couple years ago, bro. To this beat, in fact, I made this beat for the conversation. This is my uh, remake, everybody, of... Uh, Jay Dillis, Kamal. You can add this to your playlist, your um, Spotify, your Apple Music, what have you. Just look up Kamal, K A M A A L, Aaron Hill, everywhere. Add it to your playlist. Daryl, this was the track I made, and I forgot to put up the conversation, bro. Real soon. I gotta dig back and find it. Kevin Cadell, Marcus Burke, Michael Orr, Shamar Bolden, Kathy Lieberman. CC Cypress, how are you? How are you responding to these times? Nick Costa. Nick, bro, you should be doing a bunch of drum videos, man. Holla at me, man. Let's chop it up. Andrew Glanville. Man, we met going bowling, man. You got to do a wee bowling thing. (laughs) It's funny, though, because I've been thinking about that. Like, what if, you know, for all the bowling leagues and for the people that's out there, what if since they can't go to the bowling alleys, somebody just sparked up, like, some kind of wee bowling Zoom deal, like... Hey. Oh, speaking of which, so I do have an event that I am going to be doing, like an actual public event. Now, let me turn down the music for this because I know somebody's going, what the? F- a public event? This man's supposed to be social distancing. Okay, so here's the deal I am social distancing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an event. Um, that's around just health and fitness, just working out. You all have seen my Yagwads, right? My Yagwads are what Yagwad stands for. Your ass will be gassed, but it'll last if you do the math. Your ass will be gassed. Workout of the day, Yagwad. So I've been doing them, and I've doing you know, of course, I've been doing them outside because my gym is closed right now. So one of the things I thought about the other day is. You know, this social distancing thing is really, really having a major effect on us as far as our anxiety levels. This man right here can speak about it because I deal with it every day, right? From small anxieties to large anxieties around it. So what I was thinking was like, hmm, you know, one thing for me is getting out, walking, exercising. That helps to really, you know, settle things down. And so I know that a lot of people are finding their way in that way as well. So what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking some of my workouts and making them outside. Oh, they're already outside, but making them where they're invites, where it's like, hey, come hang out with me and work out. Here's the time. Here's the place. 
and here's the space because we can keep the space in between us. Um, but I'm so I'm thinking about doing it at like a park, at like uh, one of the places where I work out, and um, just finding a big park where we can have enough space, but everybody can bring their, you know, their yoga mat or what have you, or bring a mat to lay on them and that kind of thing. If we're in the grass or what have you, um, and if we're not in the grass, you know, it'd be a solid surface. But I was thinking like this is a way that we can all come out, we can hang together. And we can actually experience the social connectivity that we aren't experiencing right now while still remaining safe. So drop a line. Let me know what you think about that. Um, because, yeah, I'm just going to really start posting sometimes. And it's just like, come hang out, come work out with me. You know, I'm going to have a workout of the day routine. It'd be something manageable that everybody can do. Um, really, all you're going to need, to be honest, is just yourself because we're going to do everything body weight yourself and um maybe a mat you know to lay down and do some simple stuff like crunches or something like that and if you have if you have a pair of like five pound dumbbells ten pound dumbbells if you don't you can still it's fine you can do all the exercises with your body weight um but yeah i'm getting ready to actually do those as events like actual live events um because i really feel just coming out, hanging out, exercising together, I really feel it's something that I could do to help us with this time and to give us the feeling of connecting while still remaining safe and in the process, you know, getting healthy. So drop a line. Let me know what you think. <laughs> if you're in Baltimore, of course, because I know if you're watching this from the East Coast, your ass is not flying here to work out with me. But it would be kind of nice, though. I mean, it's a nice thought. I would fly there for you. If you were talking about putting on an event, no, <laughs> guilt trip 101. <laughs> Christine Hampton, Cassandra Lighty, Peter Poli, Kevin Johnson, Irene Allen, Benny Duncan, Valente Funk. Nice to meet you the other day, bro. Dane Williams, Marcus, uh, and Marcus Campbell, Walter. Cullen, Tyrese Campbell, Buddy Lakins. How's the music, Ham? How's the music happening, fam? Michelle Anderson, Jesse Powers, Marshall Comer, Anthony Cottrell. All right, so I think I went through as many as I can go through. <sighs> I thank y'all so much for the birthday love. Golly, this was good. Let me make sure I didn't miss anybody's comment. Oh, I missed a whole lot of comments. Joseph says, happy blessed birthday, my brother Aaron Hill. Love and peace to you. I appreciate you, fam. Thank you. Terry Allen, thank you. <laughs> Antoine Grant, didn't didn't know you knew Aaron. Such a small world. Oh, yeah, Ethel. Oh, wow, you know Miss Ethel. Wow, small world. Thanks so much, Miss Ethel. I appreciate you. What's up, Antoine? Antoine, where are you, where are you based now, man? Quentin Harrison. Thank y'all for the love. Whew, I am tired, y'all. This, this was a lot of energy to thank everybody. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm out of here. I'm about to go meditate, and I'll be right back for the self-care journey. Join me back in a few. Much love to you. And join me for a word of day, too. Peace. Be well. Salute.